Hey guys, this is Mrs. Summer. Um, welcome to the table that I usually work on your art projects at. Um, and you're sitting at your house or maybe your desk or laying on your bed or outside on your deck. And we're going to work on art projects together. And let's talk about how art's going to go this quarter. Um, you're going to get in the packet that your teacher sends you every Monday. There will be a little informational packet one to three pages from me. Um, the front page will have an instructional guide telling you what our project is about, the steps for our project. Um, it gives you a little checklist of things to keep you on track of what I want to see in the project. Um, you'll have a couple drawing guides. This week you have two. Um, and I have a Google Classroom set up for your class. Um, in the live stream on the Google Classroom, I'm going to post a link every week for one of these videos. Um, that's a YouTube link. It's just a private YouTube channel that you can get these instructional videos as we kind of talk through the assignment together. Um, you can take a picture of your assignment every week and send it to me via the Google Classroom. You can upload it to an assignment. Or you, if you don't have access to Google Classroom, you could always email it to me at the email address I provided on the, um, the little informational packet. Or you could text it to me at my phone number. And both of those things are on the front page of the little instructional packet I sent home with you guys. Some of you guys already started this project before spring break. You rushed through everything else. And I think there were two seventh graders and four sixth graders who went ahead and started on this. And that's fine. I sent those home in your packets for you to finish working on. Um, this quarter in art class, we'll have one assignment a week. And they're always due the following Monday. So you get a whole week to work on them. Just one assignment for the week. Um, I think with the extra time you have at home, and I'll see, I'll see more of your creativity and also probably some things done really high quality because you have lots of time to do them. Um, let's start talking about why I picked to do a Model T car, as you can see right here. Um, we're doing that because all year we've been talking about America in art class. Um, in the fall, we talked a lot about um, two American artists and we did um, lots of landscapes that had to do with the um, Southwest and a few famous U.S. landmarks. And this quarter we've been talking about um, America's space race. And now we're going to talk about Henry Ford and the man who made the first affordable car for American people, an affordable automobile. He was not the first man to make an automobile, but he was the first one to make it affordable for the average American. Now he's also the forerunner of the assembly line. Um, he's the person, when he was manufacturing this Model T, that came up with the idea of an assembly, not, well, assembly line, and that changed the way that factories operated. So he's important for that reason. In this project, you'll see up here a Model T that you'll get to draw and do an ab observational um, drawing with. Also some gears, and that's a nod to just the mechanical engineering aspect um, in this engine that he put together and also I picked newspapers to make the gears because he heavily advertised his Model T in newspapers. I've included in the instructional um, pack that you get a little link for a YouTube video. It's really short which is some extra information about Henry Ford and the Model T and why it's important to you and I and why it was so important to America back then. From 1908 to 1913, he painted his Model T in four colors. They were gray, green, blue, and red. So in your assignment, I want to see one of those colors on your Model T. Gray, green, blue, or red. Green is my favorite of those colors, so that's why I picked it. Um, I would like to see some gears made. I include In your informational packet, I made that optional because I know that's kind of challenging, um, but I would really like to see you do that. It's not required, but I would like to see it if possible. Now, what um, supplies do you need at your house? White paper, if you don't have a mixed media paper like this, please use computer paper, construction paper, scrapbook paper, whatever you have. Um, you're gonna need some scissors for your gears. Um, some newspaper if you have that. I know a lot of people don't have newspaper, so I was thinking maybe you could use magazine or scrapbooking paper maybe, or just plain white paper to make the gears, and a black Sharpie will make your gears for you. Um, if you don't have a black Sharpie, you could use a black crayon or a black marker. Um, you're also going to want to get out your watercolor paint if that's what you choose to use if you have it in a paintbrush 
originally that's what the assignment was going to be done in in watercolor if you don't have that feel free to use colored pencils or you could even use crayons just make sure that your um, strokes of your whatever you're using are really tight um, so we get a really nice finish on our car you're also going to use a glue stick for your collage and definitely a thing that you need a ruler with this project also it would be cool if you look around your house and find some simple um, circle tracers that you could trace um, for your wheels. I would like for you to use that trick to make like a really nice rounded wheel. You're going to need two circles for that. You're going to need a circle to make the tire itself of the wheel and then to make the rim of the wheel. So here I used a vitamin bottle cap and just a water bottle cap. For my gears, I used different types of caps to trace on my newspaper. I used um, a Tupperware cap, mask and tape, thermos cap trace them on my paper and I use this ruler to make the different parts of the gears and then I just freehanded some of it made up some of my own designs now usually I give you or sometimes I give you a guided drawing that's step by step how to draw something but with your age group and with this project I didn't have that um, so this is an entirely observational drawing and on your packet you have a sheet of a Model T just a picture of one this is what i drew mine from from looking at this i don't want you to get stressed out especially if you've never drawn a car before i the way that i did it that i thought was easiest is to start by drawing the wheels first and i wrote that down in your instructions to start there first i think once you get that nice rounded wheel using one of these that you can build your whole car around that um, then i use i built this under part of the car and then i rounded made a curved line and kind of made the body of my car next ending with the engine um, of course it's up to you what you think would be easiest to do but i feel like that's the easiest way to do it so start with your wheels first and then work up of course adding the details last um, it's entirely observational drawing the same thing with the gears you'll look at these gears get some inspiration from them some of you are really in to mechanical type drawing i've seen it so you're free to make whatever type of gear that you want to um, and add to your drawing. You're free to put as many gears as you would like to around this. A little finishing touch I did with my newspaper is that I found the letters that spelled out Model T and I cut them out and glued them to my paper um, to kind of remember why I'm making this uh, for Henry Ford's Model T. I'm really excited to see you guys draw this. I know for some of you this is going to be a big challenge because you've never drawn anything like this. But this was very fun to draw. Um, don't stress out about it being perfect. Just go for it. And if you have to start it over a couple times, that's totally fine. Um, I look forward to seeing everything you guys are going to create. Remember, you can drop it in your assignment. You can upload it to an assignment on Google Classroom, or you can email it to me or send it to me in a picture um, the, by the following Monday. Thank you, guys.